Satellite communications are down worldwide. We now have enough intel to know that Cobra has done something... unimaginable. This is UAV footage from over Moscow. We're looking at a fatality count of around 10 million. Cobra did that? How? A nuke? Not a nuke. But we don't know what it was. Yet. What we do know is that this is the greatest threat Cobra has yet perpetrated. This was planned extensively. Knocking out satellite comms, decapitating a superpower, and attempting to cripple the only team that could possibly mobilize against them. Killing Bazooka. Yeah. Killing Bazooka. Giving the world less than 24 hours to hand over all control to Cobra. But we're more than one good soldier. And we're more than a bunch of guns and vehicles on the armory deck. They've underestimated us the way they always do. We've got less than a day to make that work for us. Go down there, work with the support staff. I want some answers. Here's Wild Bill calling Brussels Hub. Do you copy? I'm issuing activation code Echo Niner on all G.I. Joe remote storage sites. I want all those lovely vehicles dusted off and prep for action. First we look at how satellite communications can be killed, but regular radio can work. The interesting thing is that regular radio is also clearly interrupted for a brief period. Okay, well what does that indicate? We need to run through the possibilities right now. Boys and girls, talk to me about weapons. How do you incinerate a city without using a nuke? In theory, I can think of five ways to do that. How much time do you have? You are my new favorite Joe. Talk fast. What do we know? The ionosphere's been superheated. That means radio signals bounce off it. Satellites can't send down to us, we can't send up to them. At the peak of the superheating, nothing worked. When it settled, long-range radio began behaving properly, skipping off the ionosphere. That bit's real important, because that's how Moscow was destroyed. Those kids down there have collected enough data to confirm Cobra used a particle cannon. They fire it skyward, where the particles are dispersed by the ionosphere. The particles are then recollected over a target of Cobra's choice, anywhere in the world. And boom, death from above. Like a laser beam? Supercharged particles. This is a whole new thing. But the kids have worked out where the cannon is. One of the abandoned Russian missile silos, would you believe? Don't seem right, does it? To set up something like that, they must have been there a long time. There's gonna be major counter-intrusion technology on site, Duke. I know. They'll spot a strike team from 10 miles off. Reaching that place is gonna be a one-man job. Or a two-person unit. Have we got more hypersonic transports on the way? Yes, ma'am. We got one 30 minutes away. And then I guess I'm flying the pair of you to Siberia.